Welcome friends, I am Tanmoy, I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. So today we will discuss about the Clemenson reduction and its application and example. In the previous video I have discussed about the basic concept and mechanism. If you haven't seen that, I suggest you please go and see that video first. It will help you to improve your basic understanding. After that you watch this video, I guess it will be helpful for your complete understanding about this reaction with examples. Okay, let's start. So as this, this is a reduction reaction. This is a reduction reaction. Reduction means carbonyl group to methyl in presence of zinc amalgam HCl, concentrated HCl. I have explained everything about related to this zinc, Y, mercury, uh, any alternate for use of mercury, this thing. So please go and see, it will be clear. So now let's first discuss about the first example. First example, you can see, this is actually a acetal. It, it can consider one unit acetal. So two carbonyl, one is converted, one is blocked and another is open. So when we think that it will reduce the carbonyl group only, so it comes in our mind that this carbonyl will group will only be reduced to the corresponding. Uh, to the corresponding methylene. So it is expected that this will be reduced, but in reality, this also reduces to carbonyl. Why? Because this is an acetal. Unstable in acid. And what happens in presence of acid? What it does? In presence of acid, it hydrolyzes and produces the carbonyl group. We know that acetals are stable in alkali but unstable in base because of the basic property of this oxygen which helps to open up the acetal ring here okay fine this is so now you can see here dicarbonyls are there so in presence of this uh, zinc mercury concentrated acid it is reduced so what is the purpose of this problem purpose of this problem is that acid labile groups could not be kept intact during this Clemenson reduction. So if you want to do such type of thing, it is preferred to follow Wolf's pressure that is an alkaline medium. Okay, fine. So this is the first example. Now, see the second example. Second example, this is also a carbonyl and interestingly, actually speciality of this is that this is a cholesterol derivative. So this part is the cholesterol thing. Cholesterol. Okay, so this is a carbonyl. So in this case, we have used activated zinc in dry ether, HCl gas means acidity is further, it's a pure HCl, generally concentrated HCl is 36%. Okay, HCl, rest of thing is water, but here it's a pure HCl gas. And in at zero degree centigrade too hot, this most reaction time, this is reduced to corresponding with this position. Okay. What is the purpose of this problem? The purpose of this problem is to say you that this react, this mercury uh, less pro process could also be achieved because this amalgam makes the process smooth, I believe. But this mercury is not welcome from sustainability point of view or environmental concern point of view because mercury is very toxic for environment. And in this context, I want to mention one information that is Minamata disaster. So you please read that thing Minamata disaster. This is a reason or this is a living example of mercury poisoning. And in this context, I have done make one video about this uh, Walker process, which is an extension of this. You may go through that. Okay. So this is the claim. Now let's discuss about the other example. The preparation of this alkyl benzene derivative. Okay. So preparation of alkyl benzene when we think the simplest word comes in our mind is that it is a nothing but aromatic. This could be done using aromatic electrophilic substitution, and the process is Friedel Craft Friedel Craft reaction. And here, if you want directly, it should be alkylation. Okay, so alkylation means take benzene. And take this is three carbon, so propyl chloride 
influence of AlCl3 as Lewis acid and what is expected to produce this thing through aromatic electrophilic substitution AES okay but in reality this this happens but along with that some unexpected products are produced and unexpected product is polyalkylation polyalkylation why because this Philip-Craft alkylation reaction proceeds to aromatic electrolytic substitution and compared to benzene this is more electron rich so this is more active towards further reaction that's why polyalkylation results so this is the problem and this problem could be avoided using Friedel-Craft acylation and what happens in this reaction in this reaction benzene is first treated with acyl chloride for example is a 3 carbon so 3 carbon acid chloride in presence of AlCl3 as a Lewis acid so what it does first it reacts with these and these reacts together and produce acyl cation means this plus and AlCl4 minus you may little surprise that this positive charge on this sp2 carbon it is is it stable actually it is not that much stable it produces reactive intermediate and instantly it reacts but it has a canonical form which provides this stability means this proves donates uh, its electron and ultimately it produces this with a plus charge on oxygen why this is because this is a six electron species so of not octet field relatively unstable but right now all are 8 electron field but disadvantage of this resonance is that the plus charge is on this electronegative oxygen but still compared to 6 electron every atom is enjoying 8 electron this is relatively more stable but still this is electron deficient and what happens this benzene this benzene reacts and in this way it uh, produces this first it produces this carbonyl derivative okay so after that in using this Clemenson reduction method, this carbonyl is reduced to the corresponding methyl. Now, question why polyalkylation is not happening here? Because after this introduction of minus I as well as minus R effect, electron withdrawing nature of this carbonyl, the electron rich nature of this aromatic benzene is decreases. So, consequently, what happened? It is less reactive. It is now less reactive than benzene. So consequently reaction stops here. So that is the uniqueness of this method because using this method we can prepare the alkyl benzene selectively and not only this, this fiddle cap calculation has lots of other alkylation using for like for the preparation of poly uh, nuclear aromatic system. I shall explain this in, in the future, future video. The purpose of the uh, problem is to give you or inform you that this uh, Clemenson reduction has a very uh, wide application in this field for aromatic electrolytic substitution, more specifically, Friedel acylation followed by reduction. So, fine. Now, let's discuss about this problem. Here you can see this is a carbonyl fine and there is one nitrogen. So, in presence of zinc amalgam phosphate HCl, this carbonyl is reduced to methylene, fine. Along with that, this nitro is reduced to amine. What is the purpose of this problem? Is that under this condition means zinc 2 plus plus electron and H plus this nitro is also reduced. So compound if you want to keep the nitro group intact and selectively reduce this, this method is not a good. But if you want both to be reduced, this is a very good method. And this problem shows the selectivity of this that it is this but it can also reduce the uh, this and actually you are I am writing here amine but it should not be amine because in concentrated HCl solution this should be NH3 plus and workup means using dilute alkali and steam distillation means then this will be sublimed and produce the final this amine thing okay so this is the uh, purpose of this problem is to give you an example of multiple group reduction like the first example okay so this acetal breakage so this is 
Now let's discuss about this uh, two unique example. This is one three dicarbonyl compound. Okay, this is one three dicarbonyl compounds. These car compounds are unique because it contains two carbonyl group in one three position, and that's the reason. That's why the proton at the position two is relatively means significantly acidic and they have unique properties so that is a different uh, topic we will discuss later so let's discuss about this this is the clemenson reduction concept so what it produces this produces this how because if you check this reduction what it does in presence of two electron from zinc first it reduces this and second reduces this now as i told that this Zinc heterogeneous catalyst. I have explained this in details about the first phase. So this carbonyl and after protonation means this and this sits on the zinc plus. This, this positive charge is on oxygen. Uh, so sits on this zinc plus and the reduction occurs. So then first one electron, one electron is taken and because it's an same molecule, so intramolecular reaction. So it produces this three member ring derivative and when such ring formation you observe write everything as it is after that you modify. So I should not write this O- minus because this medium is acidic so I should write it OH. Okay. OH and in next step this will be OH2 plus. So this thing and after that what it can happen as you can see that there is an equilibrium that it, it is not essential that every time it will be in OH but there is an equilibrium with this cationic protonated versus non-protonated so what can happen that this bond this is a strained molecule this is a strained molecule so because of this three member ring okay so this need to be broken so what happens that it pushes this electron and it opens up okay so after that what it results this produces write everything as it is this 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 o h2 plus o and under the similar reaction condition actually not only stops here this acidic mediated pathway it leaves and in that case the electron produced from the zinc attacks and produces carbon ion and this carbon ion is relatively resonance stabilized and ultimately these end up with this product okay the next example is also similar like that what do i mean this dimidone this dimidone has a chemical structure of actually this is also a 1,3 dicarbonyl compound but you can consider this is a cyclic thing okay so similar process will be followed here and it produces this okay so now here as you can see three types of products are produced this so expected some other reaction also happen. So how there is a three member ring. So one chance it could be broken here. For example path A it could be broken here. Path B similarly okay. So means it will push. So if we follow path B. What is the product? Path B means it will be a six member ring. The six member ring will remain. So this is the minus. This is the OH, this is this, and this will be protonated, this minus thing, because lots of H plus is there in the medium. So this, so this product is produced, fine. Now, if we follow this path, so ring contraction will happen because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this is the 6 which is going to break. So write everything as it is, as I suggest everywhere. So this is, now, this is the CH3. Sorry, this is the double bond, this is the OH, this is the CH3. Find this. So, we got our second product, this. 
and this can undergo further reduction further reaction because this should be, could be OH2 and this reaction this is plus charge and this plus charge means under this reduction condition it can leave and this electron can attack here so ultimately produce this like similarly happened in this case so ultimately what it will result this is the thing this is the CH3 and this is the okay so this is the third product so in this way sorry I made by mistake I wrote another methyl group so in this way these three products are produced so this is the end of the discussion so if you like my teaching please help me to grow my channel and for that purpose what you can do first of all you can uh, subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload and secondly share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally see you in my next video so try hard all the best god bless you